last time I took you home, Kenya, after five years of being away, I introduced you to my family. Hi. 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 This is my dad. Visited many places. Right about now, it's time to go and visit my 92-year-old grandfather, who lives deep in a local village in Kenya. After seven years of not seeing each other, does he still remember me? Welcome back, guys. Today, I want to go and see my grandfather. He's about 92 years old. And uh, because I'm here, it will not be good if I go back without seeing him. So I'm going in company with my friend and I'm gonna do some shopping and uh, move ahead and go and see him. So we'll take a motorbike. But meanwhile, let me see my mom first. So there is Sosa Cottages. Today, uh, the former Prime Minister Raila Odinga was here today. He was in this hotel, it's called Sosa. I don't have friends. I can't fit. Hi, this is my mom. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I wanted to buy some beef for my grandfather, but my mom told me he no longer has the ability to eat meat as he used to. So she told me what his favorite food or what he likes. No chapati, not skuma wiki, no chicken, but omena. Omena is fingerlings. I don't know if this is a species of fish or they're small immature fish. People in Western Kenya like Omena. Might be due to our proximity to Kisumu City and Lake Victoria. I want to know how Gawanga is camera. It's a norm here in Kenya that you don't just visit anyone empty-handed. You must bring something for them. Some people may even deny themselves in order to give, which is one of the things I love about Kenyans. On the other hand, the host might offer something to the guest. Kenyans are known for their hospitality. It is customary to offer a guest food and drink when they visit, even if it's just a simple snack. Kenyans often go out of their way to help others, whether it's a neighbor in need or a stranger on the street. This spirit of generosity and helpfulness is deeply ingrained in the culture.
As we ride through these streets, I get the feeling of deja vu. It's like I never left this place. I was hit by a nostalgia from my early childhood when I would use this route many times to go and visit my grandfather where my mom was born. In Kenya, deep inside the villages, we use motorcycles or motorbikes as Uber or Lyft because they can easily access anywhere and are adaptable to any weather conditions or any road. Not that people don't drive, they do, but not everyone can afford a car. In fact, there is a high number of motorcycle ownership compared to car ownership. You only pay a dollar per person. In this case, it's the two of us, so we'll have to pay two dollars. It's not a Kenyan culture to tip, but the American in me got me wanting to tip whenever I receive a service. It really means a lot to them. Nani, eh? mm. This road is very tricky. So this is a school, Gidimo Primary School. Apparently some of my uncles studied in this school. Yeah, my aunts. And my grandfather just lives below there, where we're going to. Students are in class. So this is where my mom grew up from. My grandfather, whom we're going to see, is my only surviving grandfather. Yeah. Today I'm in company of James. Maybe say hi. Hi guys. Yeah. How you doing? So Hope he. You good. He will be my cameraman today. So, Kwake, he lives here. Yeah. Just hope he's there. 
Let me check with my ankles and find out where he is. Let's go. Hey James, what are you doing? You're putting me on video. The world will see the gaps in my teeth. For those who don't know, beef is one of the big gifts you can give as a gift to someone in the village. They really don't get a chance to eat it that frequently. You can tell from the joy on her face. Sugar for making tea is also valuable. <laughs> <laughs> It means I had been gone for too long. Some of my cousins were born and something funny is that I don't know them. The boy is quite big. It tells you how long I had been gone. I'm going to see my other uncle. Hello. 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 Abari gan. Baba ko na mgeni. Wan ko na ko ba gan. Eh? Wan ko na ko ba gan. Hey Harry, why couldn't you say you were coming? I told him I had come to see my grandfather and I couldn't just bypass you guys. You should have told us you are coming. Your aunt would have prepared some chicken for you. I told him my mom had already prepared some chicken for me back at home. I hope you have no plans of going back home. I want you to spend the night here at my place. I told him I have my cameraman with me. He insisted that he wants me to stay. He even got enough space for the two of us. Come with me. I will show you. Mm. 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 
I eventually saw he was making a good point. It will be a good moment for us to catch up since it's been long since we saw each other. So apparently I was, tell, I was told that my grandfather moved from that house. She lives here. Let's see. And my shoelaces there. Let me try to tie them. So my grandfather lives here. Let's see if he's around. Hello. Cause I don't have friends. I got... Hi. Jambo jambo. Hey. Mr. Neve. Jambo jambo. So wendi. Ambo mram. Eh. Unzi zetiza. Nzene nzene mure na wa alizoni. Makubugana. Makubugana na nini? Lakira himbe. Iki baga. Eh. Eh. Wenur. Okay. Eh. I remember. Kabisa. Eh. Eh. Kuni nze. Alizo ni ambole mbereka kuna nzi kucheri za guga. <laughs> hey Harry, you've been gone for too long. I told him I had gone for studies. Now I came back to see you guys. After a while, I would love to go back, finish my studies. I remember he had medical journals and medical books he used to give me and say to me, I want you to be a good doctor. He said he saw a bright future in me. We do share a lot of memories. Since I was a kid, I can remember living with him at one point. He used to run a shop. He was surprised that within the five years that I've been away, I grew taller than him. When I left home, we were about the same height. He was so happy to see me. So was I. So I'm hanging out with my grandfather. Yeah, this is the father to my mom. You see, we look alike, yeah? Still have none. Okay. How has it been? Nyakatano. He, mimi nimekuisha kabisa eh. Mm. Ujakuisha bado kwa na nguvu. Sinaona bado unatembea. Ah. Mm. Atenda. Maganga ndio maana nikikununulia. Ilikuwa ni kuletea nyama na ndio natenda hii. Okay. Yeah. Alafu na sukari. Yeah. Life apart from that, we can't go and get the, go and get the, he, he won't push me. See that? Huh? The same as your gun. Asante, asante, me touch it. Oh, it's cool. Yeah. Okay. 
Sasa ona rudi nyinyi America. Wiki lijana. Eh? Wiki lijana. Ah, ona rudi nyinyi. Oh, bado kuendelea na masomo ni malizi. Bado maliza. Yeah. Utamaliza lini? He asked about my studies and when am I gonna finish. I told him it won't take long. I'm on my last step. He also asked if I have plans to get employed or employ myself. I said either way, but I would probably prefer self-employment for the flexibility it offers. In the last video, someone asked if grandpa could have a better house or if someone could take him in and live with him. Most houses deep in the villages are like this, but things are changing. He also lives close to my uncles and aunts. He's comfortable living by himself, but whenever he needs help, my mom, my uncles and aunts are there for him. I'm also not wealthy enough to build a house at this moment. Maybe if you guys will have been watching my videos more, I'll get some revenue from YouTube and get to build him a house. Where is the Mostly you will find him sitting under a tree reading. Now you know, I took a course plan. Ah, Mimi, 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 so me are economics, economics and statistics. Maneno ya uchumi. Lakini bado pia sijamaliza. Nimewakisha mwaka moja. Kenya ulienda America. Ah, hapa na mimi niko tu hapa Kenya. Oh, iko Kenya. Eh, mimi siku sina sijafaulu kwenda America bado. Okay. Eh, najua inahitaji pesa mingi. I wanted to know if he needed help with preparing food, but he told me he got it. I always prepare my food and I still get the ability to do so. Some of my cousins will come and help him get wood to cook and water from the river or the stream. The reason I asked him if he still remembers me is that I had been told he couldn't remember one of my aunt's name who happens to be his daughter. It was impressive to know that he could still remember me. So he's opening the door for us. Sasa Asante. Yeah. seen him and uh, he was happy to see us yeah so maybe till after six months again I was glad it's been seven years not even five it was seven years I remember because uh, when I left college I did not come to this place so I just finished college and uh, I left to Barbados one of my cousins went and told her colleagues at school that, hey, I have a cousin of mine who just came from America. On hearing that, they all came closer to my uncle's place. And I was surprised to see an unprecedented number of students demanding that I should talk to them.
Jambo. In western Kenya, where I come from, we value chicken so much that it is only eaten on special occasions. If you can afford to eat chicken regularly, it's a sign that you are well off and belong to the elite. When you have visitors, to make them feel valued, you have to prepare some chicken meat for them. When they are leaving, it is customary to give them another chicken as a gift. This norm is associated with people from Western Kenya, where the chicken is a symbolic bird. Chickens are also a symbol of wealth. Owning chickens can indicate prosperity and social status in some communities. Chickens are relatively low maintenance compared to larger livestock, making them a practical choice for households with limited resources or space. <laughs> We had a lengthy conversation. Since it had been five years since we last met, we had a lot to share. He asked about my education and when I am going to finish. We reminisced about the sweet old memories, like when he used to carry me across flooded rivers on his shoulder. Sometimes I would visit him for a month when we were on school break. He is one of my mom's brothers. He also has a large tea plantation, which he plucks from every day to be taken to the factory. The chickens on his compound are for sale. But when an important visitor like me arrives, he will prepare one for me and maybe even gift me one before I leave. In Kenya, chickens mostly roam freely on the farm, feeding on insects, grains, and grass. However, if you are keeping them on a large scale, you will have to buy chicken feed for them. Traditionally, before the emergence of chicken feeds, people used to trap termites in areas known to have them. My uncle still does that because his homestead has areas with termites. He traps them every day and his chickens always have termites to eat. The chickens are having a feast, you can tell how excited they are. Termites are a nutritious food source for chickens, providing protein, fat, vitamins, and minerals. Chickens naturally forage for insects like termites. So allowing them to feed on termites satisfies their natural behavior and dietary needs. 
Termites can serve as a valuable supplemental feed, especially in environments where natural foraging is limited, promoting better growth, better quality, and immune function in chickens. Looking for the termites. Uncle, what the... Uncle! I think they're looking for some here. Let's try. So this is my mother's brother. He's my uncle. You can tell he's a farmer with plenty of chickens. Basically, what is done is you take corn you stalks, them chop them into hands. smaller pieces oh, termites which termites love to feed on, as they might be their delicacy, dig a small hole where the termites are, put in the stalks, and let them sit overnight. The following day, you will have trapped enough termites for your chickens. Alternatively, some people use grass, but corn stalks are sweet, which may be why termites like them. We have to eat. Nani mulafi kuku? Mindo na beb. Na beb. That's amazing. They trap the termites and then they feed the chickens. Uh -huh. Most people in Kenya feed chickens corn because corn is the staple food in Kenya. We also call it maize. Corn is usually readily available and it's cheap. That's how we call the chicken. When you do that they will all assemble. You can compare this to Ivan Pavlov's theory of classical conditioning. That's how he calls them. So keep it up again when I see My uncle says there's a person who waits for him to leave for his other errands, then comes and steal his chickens. He has never known who does that. He was asking if he could prepare some more chickens for me to take to my friends in the United States so that they could have a test of an African chicken. However, I told him I might not be allowed to fly with food such as chicken. African chickens are usually strong and have more muscle mass, hence more meat. Most African chicken breeds are naturally robust and have been bred over generations for traits like disease resistance, adaptability to harsh environments, and overall strength. In many African settings, chickens may have access to a variety of natural foods, including insects, grain, and vegetation, which can contribute to their strength and vitality. Yeah, they are the African chickens are often raised in an environment where they have to forage for food, which can promote to natural behaviors and physical fitness. African chickens are also known for their resistance to certain diseases, which can contribute to their overall strength and survival rate. Mm.
My uncle wants to gift me chicken. The cock. She wants to gift me chicken. Madam, you said you could shake. Oh. Sawa sawa. He is chopping the corn stalks for the following day. Then on a zeka pale magiza. I wanted to know the difference between coconut and palm trees as well as the difference between coconut milk and coconut water. Here's what I told him. Coconut trees produce coconuts with water and meat, while palm trees produce various fruits. Coconut trees' leaves are longer and feathery, with slender trunks often found in tropical coastal areas. Palm trees' leaves can vary in shape, with trunks that can be slender or thick, growing in a variety of climates. Coconut water is the clear liquid inside the young coconuts, known for its hydration properties. Coconut milk made from blending mature coconut flesh with the water is creamy and used in cooking as a dairy alternative, being higher in fat and calories than coconut water. And so one of my aunts, my uncle's wife, welcomed me for a cup of tea. So we are eating cassava and tea. Slept at my uncle's place. So just woke up with my eyes. Eh? Still sleepy. Hmm? Oh. Yeah, it's a beautiful morning here. Well, I had missed uh, this kind of feeling. Sleeping. Such an environment. Ah, feels nice. It's like a deja vu. I used to stay with him long ago. And I was still young. So it's like a deja vu. Yeah. He's also a farmer. Yeah. See, he has chickens. And this is uh, his farm. And this is my other uncle's farm. Yeah, he has bananas. And uh, we have plenty of birds. There are certain birds here. That we call them weaver birds. They normally make their nests by means of weaving them. In case you've never seen a bathroom in the village, this is a bathroom. This chicken poop. Not that. Uh, the place is dirty, this is just chicken poop. Yeah. And they slaughtered chicken here yesterday. But in case you never seen a toilet. Hi. Yaji. Mm. In case you never seen a toilet. This uh a toilet in the village, how it looks like. <laughs> and this is the hall. So your aim has to be as perfect as possible. Wow. This is the toilet. Your aim has to be as perfect as possible. All right. That is it with the toilet. 
but there's a, a more modern version at my uncle's place the other side maybe i'll show you when we go there look at this chicken hmm. it's, it has a uh, young ones do we call it brooding or something brooding i have no idea remember something like that so this is passion fruit if you never seen passion fruit it looks like this yeah but it still hasn't bought some fruits oh i see one here you see it this one here yeah that's passion fruit and this uh, pumpkin so in the village here or in kenya we do eat pumpkin leaves leaves brought some of us up because we used to feed on them most of the times there's a toilet where students use so this is uh, kind of like a modern version this kind of like a modern version of toilets now so let me show you the modern version of toilet this one here is a bathroom and this one here is a toilet so your aim has to be as perfect as possible it's not that clean but um, something is better than nothing these are bananas and this is a hummingbird or something is it a weaver bird? Hummingbird. We call it Muzuni. It normally sucks nectar from uh, these banana flowers. Let's see if it will do so. Come on, weaver bird. Oh, he's afraid of me. Let me hide somewhere. I think he wanna suck nectar. He has a very long beak. I don't know if you still can see it. Here it is. It has a long beak normally inserts inside the banana flowers and uh, suck the nectar or the sweet nectar inside the banana flowers in case the bird is afraid of me I believe it do its thing anyway it's breakfast time let me go and have some breakfast and this is a school students are in school I can hear them talking in the background. Just brushed my teeth and washed my face. This is how I brush teeth here in the village. Yeah. So when you go to Rome, you live like Romans. This is their way of life here. Oh. So we are using natural blue band. farmer he wants to plant sweet potato vines and i'm gonna show you these are sweet potato vines so he's prepping the land you <laughs> know mm. in english when i say prepping the land How long does it take uh, before the mature? Is it mature, Madam Gan? Five months. Five months. So in five months, the sweet potatoes will be ready. 
Hii ni cowpeas. Unaita dikovi. Mhm. This cowpeas is one of the common vegetables here. And this one is a jute melon. Jute melon is mrenda. Unajua vile mrenda inaenda inaitwa kwa kizungu? Eh? Unajua vile mrenda inaitwa kwa kizungu? Jute melon. Jute melon. Eh. Kuna kwanga na nyingine inaitwa okra inafanana na mrenda pia. Uh, I think ni mbegu zingine hivi ukizipika zinateleza kama mrenda. Mm. Mm. This is a bean plant. Nini Oh, wanapika kama mrenda. Oh. He says they used to pick, to cook this thing. It's calling it's called wandering Jew. They cook it. Wandering Jew. And this is avocado seed. Oh. Wana pika zingoa hapi? Oh. Mm. And this is a cassava plant. That is it. This one is nepia grass. I told you this is the most expensive grass in Kenya. Feed cows. If you have a whole piece of this land, you can sell it for five hundred dollars, which is fifty thousand Kenyan shillings. It's expensive grass. This thing they normally claim is a herbal medicine, but I'm not recommending it. It's not approved by the FDA. It's not approved by the FDA. Don't say Dr. Harry was recommending some bush. No. No me, just uh, passing some knowledge from the village, but I'm not recommending it. This is a seed bed, and these are seedlings. I don't know what type of plants are this. I have no idea. I have no idea. So I think this is to prevent the chickens from. And pests from accessing the seed bed or eating the seedlings. This is a banana trunk. As young as you can see it, it's already bearing bananas. So it uses this line as a demarcation. Uh, <laughs> and now, what's on going on? I could have a window view correct. I It's raining, man. Hmm. Are you tired of being in your house, Shamba? Can you move? Oh. 
after this kind of weather. It's raining while it's raining. The chickens are also running away from the rain. Let's run away from the rain, man. Ooh. It's too terrible. My uncle is being rained on. But it's just drizzling. So it's not a biggie. My uncle has plans of uh, building another house. I want to make a permanent house, a brick house. Yeah. So, I hope I will get him. I, hope I, I wish I had done enough finance to help him out. Then, God will see him through with his plans. A few moments later. Me join in if the rain has ceased. Let's go and see what he's doing. Why the only one who is finding this kind of life interesting? Yeah, so chill and love the ambience, the sounding of the birds. Yeah. You don't know what is happening in the world, just beautiful life. I love it in the village. I find this kind of life interesting. There's no external influence. You just all concentrate on what is surrounding you. I was telling them that village life is very nice. Oh, Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nambia village life is very nice. Oh. Mm. What is it? I so that's how the sweet potato vines are planted. And in five months we'll be eating potatoes. Mm -hmm. Just dig a shallow hole. Then insert in the vines. Put some soil on top. Also match the maybe half of the vine inside this the soil and that is it so when the rains uh, come they'll make things even better because the vines will have enough water so it's easier for them to germinate yeah. just as simple as that Still has these vines here. I think he is done. He's almost finishing. It's long since I saw a butterfly. You see it? It's gone. What are you doing? 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 Baby, now you're doing? Odanga. Now you're doing? Benzen. Benzen. Where are you? Where are you? Benzen. Benzen. Oh. Bele. Bele. Benzen. Oh. Donald, okay. You fry kwa ona? Msome kwa bidi? Yeah. Let me say hi to my grandfather. Uche? Oh, wira. This is a bamboo tree. And it's very symbolic to the Chinese. 
you get like bamboo even here people use them as uh, toothpicks so this is my grandfather's house new house totally he used to live in that house but he moved here this is chimney so i just came here to remind myself of my childhood i used to walk in these areas when i was a child this is very green this is tea i showed you tea while i was back at home this is a tea plantation let me remind myself of my childhood feels like a deja vu yeah we used to fetch firewood here when i was young whenever i used to come here and stay with my uncles this is my grandfather's tea i don't know who picks it but it needs some trimming let's continue rolling oh, these are the little children i saw there's a guava tree there but it doesn't have trees or fruits hey mwende nyumbani nyoka isiwaume when nyumbani nyoka siwaume i'm telling them not to lay in the bushes they should go home they might be bitten by the snake when the nyumbani nyoka siwaume when the nyumbani nyoka siwaume munaishi wapi munaishi wapi oh simba oh kama gembe hapa hivi they tell me they live here oh Sawa sawa nyinyi watoto wazuri mnaenda shule si ndio? Nini hiyo? Oh. Sawa sawa. So this is the bridge they cross. While uh, going home. And uh wanna tell you that uh, this river sometimes usually floods. And I don't know how these children normally cross this river. Sometimes it does floods. So this sand they have harvested. I want to use it for construction. I used to come and fish here with my uncle. He would put some herbs in this water, mix it with the uh, pepper and uh, ash. Then uh, we'll go at the source of the river, pour it there, wait for some time. You'll just see the fish floating, jumping up and down. So it's a kind of a memory. Yeah. Ah. I'm remembering my childhood. What we used to do. My uncle is there, still planting. You see him? And this is tea plantation. I had hoped I will show you some tea plantation in Kericho. But uh, it was at night and we couldn't see anything. But anyway, maybe when I'll be traveling back, I'll show you. There's someone called Haman Manyora. I don't know if you guys know him. Just live somewhere here. He's a very popular guy on YouTube. He's also a politician. Not really a politician, a political analyst. On YouTube. Anyway, you don't want to go into politics. I was just showing you where Haman Manyora lives. So my uncle wants to give to me a chicken. Where my dream is. That is a norm here when a visitor visits you. You know, see them off with a chicken. Let's see. We got it. That's mine. Tafunga mi guama. I want to try the legs. This the chicken you gave me. Yeah. Okay. So what do you do? The road you call thirty first. Alright, see you later. Yeah, so gifted this. All I can say is thank you. <laughs> All I can say is thank you. So my uncle will be taking us home. It's been a nice visit. And I'm signing off with a, a gift. <laughs> I'm gonna make some broth out of it for soup. <laughs> so this is what they can afford, so 